Hey guys, it's me Blair Hastings and we're at Open Mic here at FPTV in the Fayetteville Public Television Studio with a special guest of NWA Space, Dustin Van Masterson. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. So Dustin, you have a nonprofit. And that's what NWA Space is, right? Right, yeah. Right. So I'm a board member of NWA Space. We're a local science outreach nonprofit, and we're building a science center right here in Northwest Arkansas. That is so cool. With all the dorks out there, we are definitely needing something like that for sure. <laughs> I oh, agree. Or non dorks. I mean, well, this is not an exclusivity thing, but we're for everybody. <laughs> right, yeah. The so. science center is, is, is built for everyone, right? It's not mm -hmm. only for people who think, oh, science is cool and great and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. that's, that that's, that's great and all, but we want to target the people who think that either I'm not smart enough or I don't think it's interesting enough we want to show you that yes you are smart enough to get into the science technology engineering and math fields and mm -hmm. yes this stuff is really cool you should come check it out that kind of <laughs> it stuff. It is really cool so <laughs> I, I'm, one, I'm wondering about this interesting fact that you guys have refurbished an old telescope is that a little is uh, that the so the, refurb the f refurbishing of the telescope is mm -hmm. an ongoing process oh, it's nice. a telescope okay. built in uh uh, 1909, so it's oh well gosh. over 100 years old, right? It is a historic telescope. Uh, if, mm. if you've ever seen the movie Addicted Love with Matthew Broderick, no. um, yeah, well, <laughs> me neither. I've only seen the first five minutes. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, but it shows this telescope. Like, nice. Matthew Broderick uses the telescope to look at his girlfriend across Aww, campus, right? Um, so it's been used for way more interesting stuff. Right. <laughs> but that's, it's, it's, it's movie famous, too. But it was also right. the first telescope to be uh, to, to be tested to see if we could detect an exoplanet, a planet mm -hmm. outside of our solar system. Oh my um, gosh. So it's a, it's a historic telescope, and it's wow. humongous, right? It's 36 feet long, 2 feet across. The oh the glass gosh. that you use to, to magnify stuff is 200 pounds of glass. It's, oh my it's a gosh. fantastic That's piece so of crazy. instrument. That's crazy. Yeah. So how, how many um, trucks did this have to move this whole oh, telescope? I think it was two or three like really? humongous 18-wheeler trucks. Oh it was, it was a, quite an effort. We, we acquired it from Swarthmore College, mm -hmm. a college outside of Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and we had to crane it off their observatory and move the tons and tons and tons of this telescope here to Northwest Arkansas, where it currently resides. That is really cool. So when are we expecting to see all of this happen in this observatory and this like cool space mu uh, uh, museum? Great question, uh, <laughs> which which uh, brings my next question. How many millions of dollars can you give me today? You know what? I'm hoping I can give you uh, mon monopoly money for sure. <laughs> I can definitely do that. But right. no, but I really want to help you in, so, in some yeah, of absolutely. this. So how do we, how do we help the cause of no, NWE space? First of all is awareness, right? Mm -hmm. How do you uh, how do you get more people aware of this giant telescope? How do you get more people aware that the Science Center is 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 currently in need and we want to build this this multi million dollar facility? Right. Is just getting the word out. Like okay. uh, we talk to people. We do First Friday, as mm -hmm. you're well aware, First Friday yeah. on Bentonville Square, and we talk to people all the time. And they're like, "Have you heard of the giant telescope?" And we hear their yes, no, or "Oh my God, is that you guys?" Yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's, really it's cool. we run the full gambit, and we just right. want more people to know that this Science Center needs to happen here for Northwest Arkansas. I think it would be an exceptional thing for Northwest <laughs> Arkansas to know about the NWA space and this nonprofit that is like giving us a little bit more of an outlet for science and so right, I think exactly. that's really cool. Not only an outlet but more of a building that generational knowledge and, and wealth and stuff like that because mm -hmm. Northwest Arkansas is an area that people move to, right? Most right. people in Northwest Arkansas are transplants. Mm -hmm. And there's all <laughs> kinds of great, yeah, you and I are, are, yeah, are among, <laughs> among those members of transplants, yeah. right? Um, but the more people that we both, uh, uh, that we attract to Northwest Arkansas for those wonderful jobs mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, outreach organizations and arts and, and science and all that really cool stuff that draws mm -hmm. people in and right. then keeps them here with them wanting to put down roots. And right. not only that, the grassroots building of talent, of qualified talent, nice. like engineers, mathematicians, mm -hmm. scientists, technologists, those people right here growing up in Northwest Arkansas because yeah. we have these facilities to get those people introduced to such uh, such things. That is so cool. So what is your favorite part about, um, you know, being a board member on NWA Space? What is your most outlandish, like, um, event or... I don't know. Oh, well, <laughs> outlandish. <laughs> outlandish. No, and proud. We're, we're not really what you'd consider outlandish, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but we do a lot of outreach stuff. We've done, last few weekends, we've done birthday parties. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, we, we had a group of 15 or so 14 year old girls that Aww. what they wanted was to look at Saturn's rings so and cool. learn about science and stuff. Wow. Yeah, I thought it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it, when I was 14, I did not want to do that. I, I was into, I think it was Leonardo DiCaprio from Titanic. So. Oh, yeah. oh I was but anime. Yeah, so we 
all grow up, right? <laughs> yeah, but no, but uh, Saturn Leo's still rings handsome. are. Yeah. Oh, oh, he is pretty handsome. <laughs> but Saturn rings are so much cooler than Leonardo DiCaprio, I think. Well, they're uh, which is, uh, like really cool. It's surprising how many people have never laid eyes on uh, the rings of Saturn. Something that's just. Mm-hmm awe-inspiringly beautiful and yeah. that most people haven't got an opportunity to see it. And that's another thing we want this Science Center to provide is mm-hmm. is bringing that universe to your face to exp- yeah. experience it firsthand. So where can we find you on social media? Do you have like a website or do you have like a yeah. social media so, platform? Uh, NWA.space. Okay. Um, also, you can find us on Facebook at mm-hmm. in, uh, just search for NWA Space okay. and you'll find us. We post uh, anytime we're doing any kind of events, mm-hmm. outreach or anything like that. Uh, we'll hear about it on uh, for Facebook. Perfect, and then people can find you there and not only learn about NWA space, but probably may, make you make a donation of some sort, right? Absolutely. We have okay. sustaining contributors. We have one-time donations. Any way that you want to help, if you want to volunteer, or even if you want to request uh, some sort of event, like you want a birthday party, informational stuff we do, mm-hmm. in, in, in home school, oh. education, and stuff like that. So if, mm-hmm. you're, uh, if you're someone who has a group of students or you're a parent who teaches your kids at home mm-hmm. and you want to say I really don't know about this whole space and science stuff oh, you know yeah. you somebody come talk to the kids about some cool stuff and that absolutely not only that we'd show you some really cool stuff you want to go take a look at the sun let's go yeah, look at the sun that is with really a telescope cool. you know that safe is, safe telescope safe telescopes <laughs> I do remember going off um, to help him in a volunteer event of like these um, what were they called the glasses for the yeah, solar the, eclipse uh, yeah the solar eclipse glasses that's basically what they are yeah. oh okay nice and this was before COVID which I'm sure COVID has put a hinge <sighs> Those on were the days. some of the things but right. yeah but like um so these guys do more than just like sciencey things. They also contribute to the world and like having the. Um, well, tell us a little bit about the solar eclipse glasses. Solar eclipse glasses, yeah. So uh, Astronomers Without Borders was an organization that um, was. Uh, they were trying to get solar glasses to uh, South America because we had our solar eclipse in 2019 Mm -hmm. and South America was going to have a solar eclipse that was visible for them uh, in Chile and Argentina and that whole area Mm -hmm. uh, in 2019, right, which is already coming past, right? Yes. But we helped... uh, we helped to sort those solar glasses because unfortunately there was a lot of people making solar glasses uh, that were not safe. Right. And if you looked at the sun or an eclipse with these glasses, it would it would cause harm to your eyeballs. So yeah. we wanted to make sure that safe and and reusable glasses were shipped down to South America. That's awesome. Yeah, and other things like we also provided uh, tele we have provided telescopes to most of the public libraries here in Northwest Arkansas. Oh, wow. So if you go to any public library, you can mm-hmm. check a telescope out like a book. Oh wow! And you can go and see the stars for you know take your own time and learn mm-hmm. how to navigate the universe. That is really cool. Well, <laughs> thank you for joining us on Open Mic, and I can't wait to like see what more things are going to come from NWA Space, and you can check them out on NWA Space. NWA dot Space, yeah, and also on social, me- social media as well. But thank you, Dustin, for coming on. Thank you for having me. <laughs>